Hi, Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last month, I posted a video letting you guys know that Microsoft had said that by the end of next year, 2024, they would be replacing the Mail and Calendar apps in Windows with the new Outlook for Windows. Now, I'll leave a link to that video down below. But just a quick recap, um, the new Outlook for Windows basically will be very similar to what we see currently for Outlook.com, so the online version of Outlook, and will um, basically collate the calendar and the mail side of things into one app. And the new Outlook will uh, be a progressive web app, so it will be a PWA, so very similar as mentioned to what we currently get with Outlook.com. Now, I did say I would keep you guys posted, and um, Microsoft now, in a recent advisory, has given us a little bit more info regarding this change. And uh, in this advisory, and I'm quoting, Microsoft has said, in late August of 2023, we will also begin a process of auto-migrating mail and calendar app users to the new Outlook for Windows with an option to go back if they choose. So that means by the end of next month, August 2023, this auto-migrating of those mail and calendar apps will start taking place. So if you are affected, you've got about a month or so um, from today's date before that migration starts taking place. Now, I've long since uh, deleted the mail and calendar apps off of my Windows devices as I don't use them. But if you are affected, what this means that um, when that auto-migration starts taking place, whether you, decide to, whether you decide to test the new Outlook app now or wait, um, you will then automatically be migrated at the end of this year, 2023. So ultimately, by the end of the year, that migration will have taken place. So that means that by the end of this year, the Windows Mail and Calendar apps will no longer be supported uh, by Microsoft and will not be available for download. So just take note of that. Now, what this could mean, obviously now, is that the Outlook for Windows will then become the default mailbox. And what it could mean, is uh, this could be a coincidence or it could be Microsoft gearing up the new Outlook for Windows to become the default mailbox in Windows 12. Now, as I have been posting, um, and I have got a playlist at the bottom of the homepage of this channel regarding Windows 12, if you want uh, any more information, um, although Microsoft hasn't confirmed Windows 12, there is a strong possibility that we could be getting a Windows 12 rolling out in the latter half of next year, 2024, and... This could mean that Microsoft now is getting the Outlook for Windows ready to become the default mailbox app in Windows 12. So that's just a side note and a bit of a strange coincidence that these take these changes are all taking place um, moving into next year. Now at this stage though, um, these changes will not affect uh, regular Outlook desktop application users. So just take note of that. So if you are a regular Outlook user, you will not be affected, but only if you are using the mail and calendar apps. Now, as I have mentioned um, at the start of this video, Microsoft did say that you can go back. So if you are not happy about this so-called switch over, um, you can go back to the current mail and calendar apps by clicking the toggle in the new Outlook for Windows. So that's this toggle in the top right, as we have spoken about previously on this channel. Now, at this stage, this a new Outlook option is a temporary option. So you will be able to go back, but we don't know how long this will be for. So moving into next year, uh, 2024, this uh, could be a situation where Microsoft could start force migrating you uh, to the new Outlook if you are still using the mail and calendar apps. So obviously, I'll keep you guys posted and in the loop regarding that change. Um, but I think the closer we get to a so-called possible release of Windows 12 um, moving into the latter half of next year, I think Microsoft will start force migrating personally um, users from mail and calendar apps um, to the new Outlook. And as mentioned, um, that at this stage is a temporary option. But nonetheless, that's what we have. That's the latest. And if I do get any more info, obviously, I will still keep you guys updated and in the loop but if affected just remember in a month's time microsoft will start auto migrating you um, from the mail and calendar apps to the new outlook so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one